ready to master build, ready to go to the next level. I mean, it is awesome. Our ancestors are behind us. We're currently here. I can feel the progeny of the future ready as this earth through God gives birth to just an incredible new time. And the elite are doing everything they can to stifle it, make it dirty, make it bad, teach us to hate ourselves, mutate and wreck everything so only they can control genetic technology, nanotech, and other systems to then play God over humanity because they're obsessed with humanity, the globalists are, to then be little demigods here on Earth and then to decide who gets to populate the stars. That's the ultimate goal of the New World Order. I mean, I think space exploration should just be all out Anything goes, boom, you decide which group you're going to join, and then ultimate freedom once you've decided which group you want to join, which direction you want to go, and then those groups are going to split off as well. And to the ultimate competition, it's going to be fantastic. And I can feel the spirit of liberty rising, the spirit of justice rising, the spirit of birth rising the spirit of creativity the spirit of creation the spirit of prosperity the spirit of god and this devil and it's time to sit here and stomp on humanity and and, and urinate all over us and, and 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 tear us into pieces and have simulated victories over humanity you've had simulated victories over humanity you have failed you are fallen you are only here to strengthen us at this moment and test us to go to the next level and so the devil is fulfilling his office that we be tested in free will. But you will not be told any of this in the churches. You will not be told any of this in the schools. You will not be told any of this because they don't want you to know. They live, we sleep. Well, not anymore. We're going to go to break and come back with John, Steve, Gordon, Augusta, uh, Ben, and others that are patiently holding today. And then we'll get into more on the Volkswagen situation and more. But this is what these companies do. And you go to a globalist confab of the Fortune 100, Volkswagen's one of the main groups. And none of them follow their own rules. None of them follow their own systems because that's for us, not for them. And it's all a giant fraud. And it, but, but also it's more beautiful than that. Even the people in the system want a faster, better car and know carbon is helping the earth, not hurting it. And so... They're only playing along with it. Innovation can't be stopped. <laughs> well, a judge looking at the clock kid story says if it can be proven that it was done as a hoax to create alarm and fear, it's basically a bomb threat. I mean, how obvious is it? <laughs> Just another White House stunt blowing up in their face. British general threatens military coup if socialists gain control of parliament. Turkey responsible for flood of illegal immigrants into Europe, it's now admitted. Caught on video, black teen punches racist bus driver in the face for demanding a fare. Yeah, that's right. Oh, you, 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 you gave a ruling we didn't like, a call we didn't like in football? We're going to attack you. You're racist. Oh, you, wanna, you want me to pay to ride the bus? I'm going to attack you. You're racist. Another report, German media covering up rapes committed by Muslim migrants. No salon, I don't need to understand the plight of pedophiles. You see, that's the thing, is the pedophiles pushing that we should feel sorry for them, pushing that we should like them. And then, and then they won't prosecute real pedophiles. They'll just plant stuff on Pentagon computers and blackmail everybody. Or they'll go after some 18-year-old guy who's dating his sweetheart who's 16 or vice versa. Oh, the courts love statutory rape. And these Nambla people want to go after five-year-olds. So that's all coming up. And I'm going to get into Putin deploys now 28 combat planes. It was four to Syria. We've known for years there's Russian troops. Now the news is like, okay, the Russians are really there. I mean, you read foreign news, it's all admitted. You read our news, it's like crazy. Because they don't even want you to know that Putin keeps saying for three years, join me in fighting Al-Qaeda, join me in fighting ISIS. They won't even say it in our news. That's how ignorant the people are because of the media to a great extent. Or now the media is like, yeah, Putin snuck in. He invaded Syria like he invaded Ukraine. Oh, my gosh, we got to do something. This is a huge provocation. When Putin's been on the world stage for at least three years saying 
okay, he'll give up his chemical weapons. He'll work with you. We'll elect a new government. Please bring in U.N. troops with U.S. troops. Let's work together. Let's kick the radical jihadis out. Russia is ready for a joint deal. And they go, no. And launch a chemical attack and blame it on Assad and Putin. I mean, I read newspapers and it's just like every day there's an editorial with an editorial cartoon where Putin's giving chemical weapons to Assad. It's just all made up. It's admitted Al-Qaeda launched those attacks. And I hope the Russian troops absolutely defeat the Saudi Arabian terrorist. And it's not that I, again, lionize Russia. Russia's got its own problems, but Russia is under attack by these people. Syria is right by the Russian border. Russia understands what it's facing, and it's fighting back against a real radical jihad threat that's run by our criminal government. We're going to go to break, and I promise come back to your calls. This is a short segment. I want to thank you all for your support. We try to bring you the very best products at the very lowest prices at InfoWarsStore.com or InfoWarsLife.com. Brain Force, the ultimate healthy brain pill. Learn more at InfoWarsLife.com is now back in stock. Survival Shield Nascent Iodine X2 is set to sell out this week. The highest quality iodine out there, a true game changer for myself and my family. Uh, we don't try to make this sell out. We thought we had enough, but it's so popular. It Maybe over a month once it sells out that we're out of it. So if you want to stock up on Survival Shield X2, the Deep Earth Crystal based source, it's available at InfoWarsLife.com. Uh, we have sold out of the liver cleanse and of the deep cleanse. It'll be months till that comes back in. Knock out the amazing sleep aid, valerian root, gamba, melatonin, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan, and many other compounds all together to give you the best deep sleep that I've ever had personally, and it's at the lowest price. It's the equivalent price of a bottle of melatonin. It has the standard dose of melatonin in it. That would be 1995. Well, with all the other ingredients, it's 1995. The best deal out there. Infowarslife.com or 888-253-3139. And thank you all for your support. These are really good products. Second hour straight ahead. We got the ladies joining us. We've had the viral video for just two segments. Then we'll go back to your calls. We're about to go to calls right now. Diamond and Silk join us in the next segment. Well, we just joined us. Salon came out. They've had judges in Australia, the UK, come out and say that, you know, 50-year-old man should be able to date your 10-year-old daughter or son, and that they have no, you have no right to stop them. Uh, well, now Salon has come out and said, I'm a pedophile, but not a monster. And it's, it's the beginning of the rollout of that. Uh, Adam in Florida, you're on the air. Go ahead. Yeah, hello. Yeah, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, how's it going, Alice? I'm a big, uh, big uh, supporter and started to listen to you last year during the the riots in Missouri. I just wanted to touch up on the subject uh, that you're on right now, and uh, it's it's crazy because I'm from Miami, and uh, you see that going on a lot here because these Hispanic cultures uh, they kind of do that regularly in in some Hispanic uh, nations. That's normal for an older man to go with a, a younger woman, you know, and and really young, and it's odd and it's awkward, and it's it's really pathetic and sad to see how they're promoting it. So it could be a normal thing, and that's not normal at all. You know, I really agree with what you're saying, and uh, I hope that it doesn't become the norm like the gay marriage thing uh, did, you know? Well, you're going to get arrested in the future if you don't hand your 10-year-old daughter over to people. And, look, any old world culture... Women got sort of getting married at 13, 14, 15, because technically you can say that they're a woman at that point. Western culture, we started arresting development, decided to push it back to, you know, 18 or whatever. I personally think 16 is probably uh, the proper age, uh, just looking at history, looking at different countries. But separately, as a 40-something-year-old man, I'm not even attracted to 20-year-old women now. Uh, it's just something that happens that it, it's normal to get attracted to people that are closer to your age. I don't knock men who are 60 years old and have a 20-year-old wife. I mean, that's totally biologically normal. If that's what you're into, that's your issue. You know, if Hugh Hefner wants to have a 25-year-old wife when he's 80, that's his deal. My big problem with it is you're right. Some Latin American countries have become a little aberrant. Uh, and I say a little, it's very aberrant, but it's a small group that does it where, yeah, 14, 15-year-old girls are, you know, with 50, 60-year-old guys. Uh, and, yes, there is a big problem with Central and South Americans particularly raping young girls uh, because they just think that's normal. And, and that's being covered up. That's going on. Same thing in the Middle East. That's why they cover women up in the Middle East, 
is culturally, I mean, look, if you're really good looking and you go to areas of Italy, a woman, guys are whistling at you. Now, if you're with a guy, they don't even look at you. Uh, it's the same thing in Greece. If a woman just goes out dressed like a slut, guys are going to come after her. That's where you kind of get the idea of women shouldn't dress like that. I'm not saying that. Women have a right to dress however they want. Uh, but it's a very complex issue. What NAMBLA wants is to go after five-year-olds. And there's no debating that's sick. There's no debating that's evil. Because the children can't make their own decision. They're not developed. It traumatizes them. And you've got these sick freaks that want to have the power over children. And that's what pedophilia is all about. And uh, all I need to say is anybody touches my daughters, my son's older now, he's 13, uh, but anybody hurts my kids, you're not going to have to wait for the police department to come. I mean, it's just a guarantee that I'm going to defend my family. And, and, and we need to get that attitude again that you keep your stinking hands off our kids. Closing comment from you, uh, Adam. No, I just want to say that uh, I 100% agree with you, and uh, I'm, 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 I'll, I'll punch somebody in the throat, too, if they mess with my niece or nephew also. So uh, have a great day, Alex. God bless you. And I don't get up here to act tough and stuff. I mean, I literally start getting craved when I think about, and you've seen these pedophiles on the news. I've seen NAMBLA meetings on TV. Uh, I've seen the photos of the UN meetings with them. I mean, they all look the same. It's like these little demonic, chubby, fat guys that like Tyrannosaurus Rex have their hands right in front of their chest and they just sit there smiling with their tongues flicking out like snakes going, we want your kids, we want your kids, we want your kids. And just every instinct in me, if there was like a rattlesnake species that came after kids, I'd want to kill it. Uh, or, you know, uh, I mean, it's just these people hunt our children. Where are our instincts? Where are our instincts? Hey, y'all. Hey. Okay, so it's a day after the base, yeah. and y'all know I am mad as hell. Oh, okay? No. And I would be pissed off. Okay. But see, somebody done already tried to come for Donald, yeah. so I got to come for them. All right. Okay? Here we now, go. now. Last night on the debate, uh -huh. Fox News anchor Megyn Kelly yeah. asked Trump to respond to the comments he made about women on Twitter. Okay. And on his former NBC reality show, The Apprentice. Right, right. And this is what she said. When it comes to women, mm -hmm. you've called them fat pigs, dogs, and slob, mm -hmm. Kelly said. Mm -hmm. And then only Rosie O'Donnell Trump interrupted. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the audience started cheering, okay? Yeah, yeah. For the record, it was well beyond Rosie O'Donnell, yeah. Kelly reported before finishing her question. Mm -hmm. Here's the damn deal, Here Megan Kelly, Megan. or Kelly Megan, whatever yeah. your name is. Rosie O'Donnell started that whole foolishness. Yeah. She was on a view, and yeah. she the one spoke out against Donald, and mm -hmm. Donald had to come back on her. Yeah. So I don't know why yeah. you gonna make this here a yeah. part of your forum last night. Yeah. You know, perhaps you don't need to be hosting debate. Perhaps. perhaps what she need to do, maybe it's time for us to file Kelly. All right, we're gonna fade it down. It's a famous rant, millions and millions of you online diamond and silk uh, are uh, sisters from north carolina and they stand with the silent majority and uh, they are voicing their opinion at diamondandsilk.com and that whole megan kelly thing absolutely uh, the reason we're bringing them on now is to get their take a month or so more into the election what they think of donald trump where they think the election's going the the uh, race is starting to narrow they took Megyn Kelly off for a few weeks to try to end that whole controversy because she was losing that controversy. Uh, but this idea that if a man criticizes a man, that's okay. But if a man criticizes a woman, he's attacking all women. And I think as part of equality, women should be able to say whatever they want about men. Men should be able to say whatever. I mean, within reason, but they're trying to change the whole debate into a feminist versus male situation. And I wanted to get Diamond and Silk's take joining us via video Skype. Uh, on uh, what they think uh, in the last month since this controversy has now morphed into other other controversies. Thank you for joining us, ladies. Thank you oh, for having, having us. us. Well, uh, I'm the one up here ranting. I want to hear from you. What do you think about Donald Trump now? You still love him as much as you did? Yes, we do. Oh, yes. As a matter of fact, we just changed to Republican, so we will be voting for him in the primaries. Mm -hmm. And we ask everybody, if the establishment and the GOP don't want to get behind Donald Trump, then we, the American people, have to get behind him. So if you are a Democrat, go switch your party to Republican today. And today. Yeah, so that you can vote for him in the primaries. That's right. What got you guys into Donald Trump? Because he's speaking the American people language. Mm -hmm. He's talking about keeping American people safe by securing our borders, bringing our jobs back where people can thrive again in this country, oh, yeah. and making this country great again where we're united instead of divided. That's right.
Well, it would. It certainly is a positive message he puts out. Uh, I just hope that uh, he's completely sincere. Do you ever worry 